Right, now we've got these smaller ones on the front here. This is an extendable side handle baton, which is 21 inches long when it's extended. And to close it, it lock, this one locks out, and you just press this little collar up, and it slides in. When it's shut, it is 12 inches. And you can remove this handle and have it as just a normal baton, but it would be a long baton. Rubber handle, one inch diameter thick, and it's made from aircraft aluminium. Right, then we've got the little 3D cell, another good impact weapon, and you'll notice that people like security guards and doormen carry these and it's not really to use as a torch, you know they'll make out it is but it's not really it's to use as a weapon this would do less damage than the 3, uh, than the 6D to be honest the 6D would, it could kill someone whereas this probably wouldn't right, then we've got this tiny little small wooden police tension that's what it's market, marketed as anyway it's 12 and a half inches and weighs 8 ounces pretty light but well, I think it's smack around the face you know or something that would still still do its job that it's supposed to right now we've got a extendable baton 26 inch extendable baton steel with a sort of rubber rubbery hand, I don't know what, it's, what it is, it's weird, it's different to the other ones, I'll show you the other ones in a minute now 26 inches and it is 6 inches, it's 9 and a half inches when it's closed this is a big one I'll have to leave that one there alright then we've got, this is the 21 inch yeah this is the 21 inch baton with textured rubber handle and this one weighs one pound these are friction locks all these these ones I'm just about to show you these three whereas the other one locked out this one these ones lock out but only by friction so you can you have to knock them back in yeah so uh, and they come with these sheaves nylon sheaves with like a rigid back and what you do, you have them inside them like this when they're closed and then when they're open, if you didn't have time to shut it, you slide that in like that then you'd have it on your body like that after you've used it, you know, if you don't have time to put it back in right, now we've got the, the 15 inch chrome extendable baton same rubber handle as the other one, textured rubber handle and you can get some ends, different ends for them, you get a little torch end or you can even get one with a uh, glass breaker on nowadays and like I said I've, I've got links to most of these, I can't guarantee they'll have it in all countries though but I found links for virtually all this stuff in America and I know a couple of sites that say they sell to England but there's no guarantee that that actually is going to happen because you can't buy these in England so alright that's the chrome 15 it says 16 it's got a measure it's 15 alright now we've got oh, I'll go around the other side now now we've got 14 ounce blackjack and these are a lead weight in the end and a spring handle so that when you hit it's got a bit of give so it's not going to really badly like cave someone's <laughs> skull in but it will knock them out it's got this leather guard there, well not guard, it's more like a lanyard but it don't go around your wrist and you whack someone yeah, 14 ounce 
and it's nine inches. Right, then we've got here a homemade one, which isn't anything special, it was pretty quick, but again it's lead, rolled up lead. My one is 12 ounces and it's got a nylon strap and it's got the spring handle still. And that'd be just as good as that bought one, just doesn't quite look as good and it's mainly uh, taped up and it took me about 10 minutes to make. Right, and then lastly we've got a leather slapper or slap jack which is similar to the black jack where it's lead this one is 12 ounces of lead similar thing you know whacking you can whack them around the head or the legs uh, yeah and that's another good impact weapon I prefer the feel of this one though because the handle's smaller and the whole thing's smaller, you know. Just imagine whacking around on someone's head. <laughs> right, so that is my impact weapons video. I hope you liked it and if you're interested in buying any of this stuff and you do buy it, do a video and post it as a response and tell me what you think. You know, I'm not really doing this to recommend you buy this stuff, but it's just to show you what's out there and to show my collection. So, Alright, hope you liked it. See you later.